Hey guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I created a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the common troubleshooting techniques for the enforcement of BitLocker using Microsoft Intune. I came across a lot of these myself, so I just wanted to share. I'm going to be going through multiple layers here, but I did want to start at the compliance policy level just to show you some of the settings there that can be a little bit confusing. So if you go into the properties here of a Windows 10 compliance policy, you'll notice that it's kind of confusing because under device health you have required BitLocker and then under system security you have encryption, encryption of data and storage on the device. So this section up here for Windows health attestation does require you to have a TPM chip on the device or else these settings will just show as not applicable on the device compliance policy if you push it out to a device that doesn't have that TPM chip. So if it's that case, I would just leave these as not configured and use this if you intend on encrypting the data or encrypting the uh, disk on the, on the device itself. This also does support third-party disk encryption as well too if you're not going to be using BitLocker to make this a compliant policy. So keep that in mind. If it does have a TPN chip, you can use both settings, but I do advise just to use one or the other because I would if it does have a TPM, I would just use this one. If it doesn't, you get into some areas where you see the device is compliant in one but not the other, and it usually requires a reboot. So it just confuses you a little bit or can confuse your techs if they're the ones that are coming in here to do this. The next thing I wanted to show is under the configuration profiles, the endpoint protection configuration profile here, where you can configure the silent encryption. You want to require this here. Um, warning for other disk encryption is good for corporate owned devices of which you know there's no other third party encrypting the drive. But if it is on there and they do encrypt it with BitLocker as well too, can cause some issues. And in some cases you might have to reload the OS altogether. So be really careful with this one and define the policies of which people are enrolling their devices if they're allowed to enroll BYOD for instance. Um, and this is where you can allow them to encrypt uh, the device silently with their Azure AD credentials upon join. So you can do that as well too, just to get this stood up. Um, if this is a device that is uh, doesn't have a TPM as well, um, you know they'll go through and get it. You'll get an error on on this trying to encrypt the device if it's if it's not on there. So keep that in mind whenever you're doing the endpoint detection as well. Now, when we're getting into these devices here and looking at the profiles or the reasons why they're not compliant, so we go into the device configuration here. We can see that there's an endpoint uh, protection policy we pushed out. We have this crypt devices here and it's giving us this remediation failed and it gives that only as the details and it throws us error code. And if we search for the error code, We have you know, some of these support articles here and things like that. Um, there's a couple of them that might be better than others, but there's this error code and statuses page here you can use and you can look for it. But all it tells you is the description. <laughs> so it's not very helpful. So that's why I wanted to dive in here a little bit more. The biggest thing you'll have to do to see this a little bit further is actually dive into the device itself. So I'm gonna pop in there. One of the best things you can go is or do is go into the event viewer and under the event viewer open up application and service logs go under microsoft here go under windows and then click on the bitlocker api and click on management so this will have the log data of why this is actually Occurring. So it's telling you it failed silent encryption because a TPM is not available. And it says compatible TPM cannot be found on this computer. So that at least gives you some more information of which this might be occurring. So I would definitely check that out. Uh, just as some basic troubleshooting. If you see these errors, you're not sure because Intune is not really reporting this back in its portal here. The other thing that you can do is within the portal here, you can go under devices and you can click on the monitor section here and click on encryption report. 
Under the encryption report, you can see devices that are encrypted and ones that are not in the status here. And if you click on one, you can get some more details here about what's going on. But in some cases, they don't give you very much. Like this just says unknown, for instance. But in other cases, if we go back to D2, they give you a lot more details here. So the encryption method of the OS volume doesn't match the BitLocker policy. Fixed drive is unprotected. TPM isn't ready for BitLocker. So that's really good here as a report to come in and see you know, what could be happening here. So this is another place I'd like to come and look to get a little bit more information than what I see on the actual device level. Lastly here, if you're running a hybrid environment, you could have um, some group policies being pushed out that are conflicting with what you're doing in Intune. And today, GPOs do take precedence. So you need to make sure that there's no conflicting policies going on. So if you edit your group policy here, you can go under computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, BitLocker drive encryption, and these will have your, your settings here, but you'll want to look under the operating system drives. And here you can look and see if there's anything that's conflicting, like the requiring of additional authentication at startup that may be conflicting with your Intune policy that you set up as far as the endpoint protection configuration profile. So this is another place that I would look as well too if you're looking to see why it might be failing in general. So those are all the things I wanted to show for you guys here. If you guys have any questions or comments or any additional things that you found are helpful with troubleshooting the BitLocker encryption in, with Intune, feel free to comment them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the modern workforce. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.